Hello and welcome back to another episode of Twig and this week there's loads of really exciting stuff to talk about because I've not made a video in a few weeks but there's things such as a photography competition that Galaxite is holding that anyone can enter to win really cool prizes. There's also new maps in Hyper Races and Rush, and there's also a huge amount of new shop items. Like, there's absolutely loads, so it's really exciting, so let's get into the video. So, as always, I'll start off by putting the change logs for this week's update on the screen now, so you can pause the video and read them if you want. And also, I'll put up the change logs for last week's update, because I didn't do a video last week, but I'll still be talking about some of last week's changes in this video. So, since the last episode of Twig, Galaxite have added absolutely loads of brand new items to the shop, so I'm going to attempt to go through and list all of them, although I've probably missed some, so sorry if I have. But yeah, the new items in the shop are the Serena Avatar, the Damien Avatar, the Bees Dropship, the Hot Chocolate Core, the Stingy Roger Core, the Thinkant Gravestone, the Paddy Avatar, the Joey Packed Avatar, the Yeeho Dropship, the Hot Noodles Core, the Alfred Avatar, the RIP Good Times Gravestone, the Lucy Avatar, the Sushi Roll Core, the Corny Corn Core, and the Rich's Gelato Core. So, this week a new map was added in Hyper Races called Snowy Heights. Uh, the background footage you're currently watching is me playing on the Snowy Heights map. And uh, yeah, the last time a Hyper Races map was added, like before Snowy Heights, was Cavern Run, which was added like just over five months ago. So, it has been a while since like we got a new Hyper Races map. So, I think we were due a new map. And uh, Galaxy have definitely delivered. It is a really cool map. I think Snowy Heights has quite possibly become my like favourite high process map in terms of the design of it, how it looks. Uh, yeah, I just think the whole theme and like how it's been built is just really cool. And yeah, the world record for the map currently sits at around two and a half minutes. Although over time it will be lowered, that's just what happens when a new Hyper Races map is added. It, it gets lowered quite quickly after it's added and uh, yeah, just while people get more used to the map. And yeah, the world record uses the Cruiser engine, so I would recommend you use the Cruiser engine if you're playing on the Snowy Heights map. So this week, Galaxy have also announced that they will be holding a photography competition. Uh, where basically you can just take photos around the Galaxy server, like just take screenshots with a chance of winning some pretty cool rewards. Um, so yeah, I think it's just really easy to enter and basically anyone has a chance of winning some pretty cool prizes. So basically Galaxy have set out 10 different categories that you can enter photos into. Uh, so when you're taking your photos, you've got to like take photos for the 10 different categories and the categories are best playground hub picture, best hyper races picture, best rush picture, best chronos picture, best main hub picture, best party picture, best selfie, best scenic picture, best picture with a helper and funniest picture. And um, yeah, basically you can submit up to three photos in each of the different categories um, yeah, you can just pick whichever categories you want to submit to and how many you want to submit to each category as long as it's no more than three. And Galaxy will pick one winning photo in each of the different categories. So that means there'll be 10 winning photos overall. And the prizes for the people who submit the winning photos are 30 days of Ultra and one item available in the Galaxy store of the winner's choosing per category one. So the submissions for the Galaxy Photography Competition close on the 21st of January. So if you do want to enter, make sure you submit your photos before that date. And uh, yeah, if you go to the description of this video, you can find the link to Galaxy's website where you can find out all the information you need to know about the tournament. So if you are going to enter, make sure you go there and read through all the information. And it's also there where you can submit your, uh, your photos for the competition. Also, one last thing about the competition, this isn't the first time Galaxy have held a photography competition, they also held one just over a year ago in December of 2020, 
and uh, I think it's really good to look at those old winners of that competition uh, for a bit of inspiration for this one because um, yeah it was very similar categories like there was only just a few differences in some of the categories so uh, yeah I'll also leave a link to the winners of that competition in the description so you can have a look through them. So the last change that I'm going to mention in this video is actually something from a couple weeks ago. It's just because I haven't made a video in a while. I haven't been able to mention it. But a new map was added in Rush called Festive. It's in uh, all of the different Rush modes, solos, duos and quads. And uh, yeah, it's basically just a holiday themed map because it was added like just before Christmas. So um, yeah, I'm a bit late now, but um, yeah, there is a new map in Rush called Festive and I think it is quite a nice map. So that's it for this week's episode of Twig. If you enjoyed it, please leave a like and also if you've not already, please subscribe because it really helps me out and it also means you won't miss any future episodes of this series. So yeah, bye.